just wanted to make a quick video about my air compressor after cooler I built here. Got lots of video ideas from other videos on YouTube and forums. Wanted to share my build. It's on an 80 gallon 5 horse, 135 PSI. Made a custom frame to fit this machine here. You can see it. Had to add that little brace back in here, right here, because it was vibrating. Way too much. That strengthened it up a lot. Because the only fr the only mount to the frame is down below here. Uses four bolts and two on either side. Actually made it out of an old bed frame I had laying around. Cleaned it up real nice. Made a air filter and the water drain bracket right here. Use the same bolt holes. Just had to fabricate it and shape it to go around the tank. <clears throat> The whole system only added about five seconds from empty to full. So I was worried about it being restrictive, mainly the 16 pass cooler here, but it's not really at all. Um, the only other thing that added some runtime was this drain here. I actually leave this cracked a little bit this part right here it, it tends to leak it doesn't want to go down this hose the water it, it wants to spill out of there so i put tons of teflon tape on there and left it cracked open a little bit so it just perpetually drains automatically drains i never have to drain it and it only added a few seconds to the total fill time. It, it's barely, barely open. You can hardly feel any air coming out of the drain, which goes out the wall, comes down here, joins with the main tank drain, and then the two, these two drains here, they all go out one pipe out of the wall. I used soft copper, 5 8 tubing, soft copper. So that I could bend and flare. This was not supposed to be here, right here. I cut that pipe a little bit too long, but it was too short to cut and reflare, so I just added that. That wouldn't do too much different, other than probably would we'll just put a solder connection here, and maybe even for this bend and this bend right here next time. But wanted to try out my spring bender. This soft copper is a little tricky to solder, but not too bad. You really got to pound it. You have to make it sure it's perfectly round or as close as possible. So that the solder takes really good. And somebody said you can use a crescent wrench to round it. I didn't do that. I just used a hammer and kind of shaped it round. And it, it worked. It didn't have any leaks. The only place I had leaks was right on these two compression fittings, but I just had to snug them up a little bit. <clears throat> For this cooler, these are AN fittings. They had to be converted to... These are compression. There's all sorts of adapters. You can go to flare, compression. Some people say you can use a regular flare to an AN flare. I didn't try that. Oh wait, actually, yeah, these are different sizes. This was, I believe, an 8 AN. I had to up it to a 10 AN and then make it to a flare. Because this is half inch tube and this is 5 eighths. So that was also why I thought it was going to be a little more restrictive, but it wasn't at all. It's a 12 volt fan. I get my power from a 12 volt power supply. I use this relay right here to signal the fan to kick the fan on i used the contactor for the signal i tapped in right there with a little wire a little grommet that goes over 
As soon as that contactor kicks on, it signals the relay and kicks the fan on. I also have a little manual switch there in case I need a little wind at my workbench. So these up here, this is a 5 8 double flare right there. This is a 5 8 double flare into that check valve. <clears throat> I'm really impressed with it. I'll put a link of the, or I'll, I'll put a section of the video in with the compressor running and you can see the water draining out and the temperature difference. These two wires right here are just my uh, before and after temps. The cooler pulls out about 200 degrees and a significant amount of water just dumps out of here. Works really good. I'm very happy with it. This Still gets a little bit of water, but significantly less. Well, let me know if you have any questions.
The only real problem I ran into was when the compressor short cycled. If I was using a ton of air, it tended to lock up. It wouldn't start. I believe, and maybe somebody can correct me, but I believe with the extra air in this longer tube and the cooler and the whole system that it puts back pressure on the valve plate and doesn't allow it to open if it's a short cycle. Meaning when I run it with tons of air and it shuts off and then starts back up within 15 seconds. Um, and then it, then it wanted to lock up. Not every time, but enough to where it was an issue. The old pipe went straight out of here and went straight down to there, so there wasn't as much back pressure, I think. And there's a check valve down here. So the tank pressure isn't pushing backwards. But the way I overcame it was with this little guy here. Uh, I cracked that drain. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And it only added five seconds to the full run time from empty to full. It only added five seconds. So you barely lose any air. It continuously drains and it keeps it from locking up. Let me know if you have any questions.